Hello and welcome to Chemistry with Mr. Olson. Today we're going to solve some problems from our solutions concentration worksheet. All right, let's see what this look like. Get this cursor out of here. Okay, so our first problem is question number 23. When one gram of sodium chloride is dissolved in water to make 50.0 mils of solution, what's the molarity? So we want the molarity. And uh, we know molarity equals moles over liters equals, let's see, we've got the liters. Well, we don't have the liters, but 50 milliliters. Um, let's see. I think the way I draw that, move the decimal point three places. One, two, three. So 50 milliliters is 0 0.05. Five, now respect the sig fig, zero, zero liters. So it's one twentieth of a liter. But the moles, oh my goodness, they didn't give us the moles, they gave us the grams. But this is grams of pure solid sodium chloride. We can figure out the molar mass. Let's do that over here. We've got sodium and chlorine. Sodium from our periodic table, 23.0. And what do we have for chlorine? Well, let's take a look. Here's chlorine, 35.45 grams per mole. I like to round to the tenth. So 35.5 grams per mole. We add it up, get a grand total of 58.5 grams per mole. That's the molar mass of sodium chloride. So, um, we can take our one gram and convert it into moles. Let me do that in a contrasting color. So we have 1.00 grams NaCl, and we're going to multiply by a conversion factor. On the bottom, the units to cancel, grams of NaCl. On the top, the units we're moving to, moles of NaCl. Uh, we always put a one in front of mole, and now, how many grams per mole? How many grams? Ah, 58.5 grams per mole. So we just draw in 58.5 grams, and then we cancel grams of NaCl, and we're left with how many moles of NaCl? On my calculator, that comes to 0.0. .0 Zero one seven one moles of NaCl, and that's the number. Let's see if I can uh, do this. That number is what we use right there. So let's draw it in. Zero point zero one seven one moles. We've got the moles per liter. So now we can complete our calculation, and it comes to three point. Or sorry, zero point zero point three four two molar NaCl. And just to make that really clear, let's box our answer. I'll do that like this. There is our answer. That is the molarity. Okay, a good example of being able to convert between grams and moles. Our next question. Let's do question number 26. Question 26 asks the percent solution when you mix 12.4 grams of potassium iodide with 88.3 grams of water. Okay, so let's write our uh, our equation for percent solution that is percent equals grams of solute over grams of solution to get the percent that's part over whole times a hundred percent okay what is our grams of solute well the solute is the thing we're dissolving that's 12.4 grams of potassium iodide over the solution. Now, 
A common mistake is to say our solution weighs 88.3 grams. However, our solution is the combination of the solvent with solute. So really, two numbers go in. We have the 12.4 grams plus the 88.3 grams. And that is our grams of solution times 100%. And if you calculate that out, it comes to 12.3%. I like percentages with uh, two sig figs. Out of 100 percent, 12 percent. There we go. So there is question 26. Next, let's do question 34. 34, if a solution is 25 parts per million, what is that concentration in units of percent? Well, let's just move the decimal point four places. 25 parts per million is a very low concentration, way less than 1%. So we're going to have a small number of percent. 1, 2, 3, 4. So we're going to have 0, 0, 2, 5. So our answer is 0.0025%. It's a tiny percentage, 25 parts per million. Alternatively, if you like uh, calculation style, um, Let's see, what is it? PPM equals percent times 10 to the fourth. So that means percent is PPM over 10 to the fourth. So um, percent equals the parts per million over 10 to the fourth equals 25 over 10 to the fourth equals 0 0.0. 0.25%. Not terribly elegant, but that's the answer. Now, next, question 33. Question 33 is 800 grams of tap water is boiled, leaving behind 0.51 grams of solid residue. So a tiny amount. What is the concentration of dissolved solids in, measured in parts per million? Okay. Well, this is just a straightforward application of our parts per million equation. So let's start way over to the left with our formula. Parts per million equals grams of solute over grams of solution times 10 to the sixth parts per million equals all right, what's our grams of solute? That's 0 0.51 grams. What's our grams of solution? Well, adding them together, we get 800.5. Well, actually, no, it's 800, because this was what was left. It was in the 800, so it's not 800.51. It's 800 grams times uh, 10 to the 6th. And let's do our math. So we punch in 0.51, punch then check, divided by 800 equals, and we get to two sig figs. Um, and then we multiply, oh, we forgot times a million. So times a million, we get 600 and 37.5 parts per million, 637.5 ppm. Of course, to two sig figs, that will be 640 parts per million. Uh, you could argue with sig figs, uh, gee, 800, that's one sig fig. So we could say 600 parts per million, and uh, that would be the correct number of sig figs. But let's not be ridiculous. Oh, no, running out of time. Okay, so let's see. Last question. 100 grams of tap water is um, 150 parts per million in sodium. How many grams of sodium? Okay, so let's see. I think the best way to solve this one is to convert it to a proportion problem. You know the proportion is the part over the whole. 
And 150 parts per million, if we take that 150 and we convert it into a proportion, instead of parts per million, multiply by a million. One, two, three, four, five, six. Move it six decimal places. So that means 0 0.00015 equals the grams of solute over the grams of solution, which in our case equals the grams of solute is what we're looking for, x over, and the grams of solution we're given, it's 100 grams. So that means, just multiply this by 100, which don't even need a calculator for, move the decimal point two places, and we get our answer, which is x equals 0 0.015 grams of the solute, which is Na+. Plus. There we go. Um, hope this is helpful, and uh, have, a, uh, have a wonderful evening. Uh, Ta-ta!